once again, South Florida. Thank you so much for joining us on Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. He's one of the co-founders of the LS Financial Group. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Len, my friend, it is great to see <laughs> you. How you doing? You. Doing great. Doing great. You Man, know? we got all these lights and these cameras yeah, around. I know, the, the, right? the radio we, booth is easier. Much easier. Because we can just wear baseball caps. <laughs> yeah. We got our coffee cups around. But here, here we got to look pretty. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and but, you're looking great today, by the way. I love uh, that hair. No, no, yeah, thank no. You, you know, thank I'm you. losing. Look at me. I, I'm losing my hair, and you got beautiful. What's going on with this? Uh, you, you are not. I, yeah, I, just, I'm. I love this. Is all this is airbrushed in? <laughs> all right, buddy. Hey, you, you put together some great stuff today. We, you've got to list seven key ways to ensure a happy retirement. I'm going to list those off in a bit. But you are also a very well-read person, and you found something I, I, I could not believe in this book. Well, you know, I, I really like to research annuities, and a lot of people, you know, they don't even understand annuities. You know, annuities have been around a long, long time, okay, back way long. Oh, we've talked about and thousands of As a matter of, of fact, um, in the 1800s, there was a, Jane Austen, okay, she was a great author, and she wrote a book called Sense and Sensibility. OK, and I don't know in college, you, many of you may have had to read that book. I had to read the book. OK, but she had a statement in there, Spike. Why don't you go? Yeah, ahead and yeah. Read it? This is amazing. Uh, you, you sent this it's over amazing. to me. First of all, I didn't realize you were reading Sense and Sensibility. So then I had to go and do the research <laughs> in it. And uh, in the quote in the book, this is amazing. If you observe, people always live forever when there is an annuity paid to them. The annuity is serious business. It comes over and over every year, and you cannot get rid of it. It's beautiful. And this is written by Jane yeah, Austen, what, is. 1800s? 1800s, 1800s. You know, another one, Babe Ruth. Uh, people may not know this, but he the, was a terrible author. The babe, yes. <laughs> wonderful baseball uh, man, player, he was a great terrible baseball author. Player. And you know, back in the you know the Roaring Twenties, yeah. you know, babe, babe was known for you know he's a pretty wild guy. Okay, yeah. and he spent a lot of money, you know, a lot of his paycheck, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. <laughs> carousing around. But uh, little do people know that during the Great Depression, Babe was fine. You know why? He had a friend, okay, that t that turned him on to annuities, a gentleman who was in the life insurance business, played ball wow. with him, okay? And he ended up, I forget his name now, but he, he played ball with Babe and got out of the, you know, league and went into the insurance business. And him and Babe got together, and he he had annuities, and Babe did not and it, have and a problem. And it wasn't just one. No. As I looked further into it, he had several of them. Right. So so this financial, I guess, a financial I, advisor a great back financial in advisor back said, then. "Hey, yeah. you're spending way too much money. You can live the lifestyle you want to. Go ahead, be Babe Ruth, but do yourself a favor. favor. Right. Get a few of these. Yep. And so he did something, and it's it's a plan that you've talked about a lot. Right. Right. And it was laddering. Yeah, laddering them. them. Yeah. And he had different ones to start at different durations. With uh, uh, with interest step ups. Yeah, okay. and he, as the rest of the country was going into the midst of the Great Depression, yep. Babe, Babe Ruth, it, so he survived and did well, not necessarily just because of what he had, but right. the way he protected himself right. for what was coming. Safety first. And that was one of the things that we were going to talk about on today's program. Right. You've got seven key points to ensure a happy retirement. Now, look, the, the easy tongue-in-cheek joke to say would be, Win the lottery, right? Yeah, right. But Everybody. even that isn't insurance. Have you ever seen those stories how people win the lottery yeah. and then lose it all, yeah. you know, within yeah. a year or two? That's right. You know what that is? It's an annuity. Oh, yeah. 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 You win the lottery, it's an annuity because they pay you out, right? They say, oh, you're going to get 5000 a week for the rest of your whatever. It is an annuity, folks. Social Security. I have people call me up and they go, uh, well, I don't like annuities in this house. You know, it's, blah, blah, blah. everybody's an annuity, right? Because the variable annuities gave them a bad name, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm. And so I say, well, sir, let me ask you a question. Do you get Social Security? Yeah, of course I do. I've worked hard to get that. I say, well, let me, let me, uh, why don't you tomorrow you call up Social Security and say, um, take this check back because we don't do annuities in this house. <laughs> sir, it's nothing more than a guaranteed lifetime income annuity. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Okay. And it can only be offered, by the way, by an insurance company. Right, right. Now, let me ask you this. Well, I, I don't want to spend too much time on Social Security, but I know it is a, is a great concern of the viewers of our program here in South Florida. You're talking about as a guaranteed lifetime income. Correct. Are you guaranteed on Social Security? What is your gut feeling on Social Security well, a decade from now? Well, Social Security, you know I'm part of the NSA. Okay, I'm part of a, a program called National Social Security Association, started by Mark uh, Keimer. Uh, Tom Higgins has written a, a beautiful little book that I have that I can share with folks on, on Social Security and Medicare. But um, 
Well, I, will say your, I forgot your question. Well, well, I'm curious if you think it's going to be oh, there, because we well, know where the Social Security Trust Fund I, is right now. When I go to the class, right, I went to the class this last year, and, and of course, Mark goes to the, it's a trust fund, okay, so you're right, is what it is. And uh, they say that it's only going to be, uh, have funds in it, okay, until 2034, mm -hmm. runs out of money. So what's going to happen, Okay. First off, we know that taxes are starting to raise. They're going to start raising taxes yeah. on us, okay? They're going to start probably raising the uh, uh, the age for Social Security. They've already taken out uh, um, restricted application. They're starting to take things out of the Social right. Security. And right. That happened recently, recently wasn't about it? Two thousand. So well, yeah, real quick, let, let's hit something on that, because it's, uh, we get phone calls on that, you get calls at the office. The file and suspend and the file restricted, these were things that we, uh, you've kind of called it before the, the, the big secret, and that there are no more secrets yeah. really left with Social Security. Right. So when you're invited to these free chicken dinners for maximizing your Social Security, there, there really isn't much left. A lot of the different levers were pretty much taken away. Yeah. So now we're just trying to figure out when should we take it for you Time, and your spouse, right. and you know, should yeah, we take how it or and when? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because there are different ways you can take. Matter of fact, I don't know if you know this, but there's actually 158 ways to take Social Security. It's unbelievable. Really? Yeah. I thought you should take it now, or you take <laughs> no, it later. There's a lot of different ways. Okay. And Jim, who's part of the NSA, he worked. He works with Mark Heimer. Uh, Jim worked for the uh, Social Security for 37 years. They gave him all the hard cases there in the last 10 years. But, um, you know, Johnny Carson, he had four wives, and those all four wives collected on his record. People, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. People don't know, you know, if you got, you know, divorced or whatever. If you were married 10 years to this gentleman mm -hmm. or lady, <laughs> you can collect yeah. on their Social Security. So there's just so many different questions many. with Social Security right now. We're trying to make sure that we can be and stay as you like to say, retirement ready. Uh, we never know when the hurricane is going to hit in the stock markets. There's been a pretty long hurricane this year where the markets are down about 20%. So one of the things we want to do is make sure that you get a review of your entire retirement investment strategy. That will include your taxes. Do you have a legacy plan in place? Meaning, are you leaving money to anyone that you want to have a legacy plan? And very much on the mind of Len Strickler and Let's Talk Safe Money. Do you have a long-term care strategy in place just in case? Len will explain a little bit why when we get back from this break. But right now, make sure that you call for your own complimentary retirement review. Use the phone number you see right here, Florida, 844-299-0355. When we get back, Len is going to give us the seven key points to ensure a happy retirement right after this break. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back to Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. He's one of the co-founders of the LS Financial Group right here in South Florida. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Your partner, Art Athanas, uh, I think you've got his book yeah. right there. Yep. Was it the, sure, the No Compromise sure, sure Retirement do. Plan? Yep. Got it right here. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are you, Art? Are you back there? <laughs> we, we know that Art is around. Sometimes he joins us on the radio, on the radio. show. So uh, he's been uh, your co-partner at, at the firm. And as you say, he likes to be a, a lot more technical about right. the things. You enjoy doing the television broadcasts and the radio broadcasts and so forth, but but you also help people 
every single day in the offices. I, I wanted to mention this just because we were talking a bit about annuities, and we're going to go on some second opinion reasons of why we want to review those. But you do also manage money on the outside yeah. as well, because it's, it's yeah. an important element. It is. Yeah. We, again, we're not against the market, folks. Okay, that's not it. We are financial advisors. As a matter of fact, our CPA, we have a CPA on board who's a co-founder, Carrie Rebello. And, um, you know, she's, uh, you know, got an investment advisor, right? And so that side of the house, Art and her work closely uh, to, with managing money, mm -hmm. looking at your, uh, you know, whatever you've got in your stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Um, we're not against the market, but we do say that you need to get a portion of that money safe in retirement. It's a different ballgame than my son who's 40. He can roll the dice right now. He's got time. Mm -hmm. So, so we do, do we do manage. We do, Bart and Gary, go through your statements. They can tell you if this is a good stock or a bad stock, what it's doing, um, how to move it, which ones to move that are taxed to help you with taxes because you don't want to get in a tax situation. So, you know, we got that cover. We got the tax. Well, the, and that, that is part of it. So when we talk about the, the managing of the money, I think a lot of folks want to know, what do I do with that? 401k. So these are in investment vehicles, uh, mutual funds, exchange traded funds, maybe individual stocks of the company right. and so forth. So well, let's talk about somebody, maybe they've moved to the area or they've, they've just come down to Florida. They're ready to start their retirement life. A lot of folks like to keep their money in their old employer retirement accounts because they did pretty well, right? Right. right. Well, there's, there's a whole bunch of factors. I mean, number one, you were probably getting a match from your employer Correct. back then. So you look back at the performance, hey, look at how well this did, why would I wanna move the money? Taking your money out and, and what you do with it at retirement is totally different than when you're working, right? There's accumulation and there's distribution. The distribution. Very different. Very different, very different. And, and you know, it's interesting you say that, we've had a lot of folks come in and you know they've worked hard all their life. They may be a fireman, a policeman, you know, whatever, doctor, nurse. And it, it, they, they're not financial folks, okay? We, they were put this on their shoulders, okay? Back in 78, they did away with pensions and kind of came up with this other 401k strategy, you know, defined contribution, et cetera. And they, they figured out that this really didn't work very well, okay? Um, most people don't know what they're doing. We've had people come in, Clyde just, or this last week, a guy named Clyde comes in and, and he goes, Len, um, I, my, exactly what you said, I moved, I got a new job, I moved here to Florida. I got, you know, I was looking at this thing and it's going down. What, what am I in? He don't even know what he's in. Yeah. He had no idea he was even now, in Now, here's a working professional right. in a yeah. career. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the problem is you've talked to people, they can be healthcare professionals, teachers, rocket scientists, right, literally. Right. And we have to try to figure out how to invest in how the to accounts. Help. Yeah, again, that's right. Because again, you talk a bit about annuities, the A word here and there, but you also manage the money. We and it's really money. important to figure out what to do with those accounts. And right. I, would you say that is more often than less often that people say, I, I don't even know what I'm doing? I, it's really true. It really is. Most people, they, have, they don't have a clue. Or you get folks that think they know what they're doing, right? And they, they know enough to be dangerous. Okay? Yeah. So you need a professional. You got to get somebody that's perfect. Whether it's me, folks, or somebody else, get a, a, a fiduciary, somebody who's got your best in, interest at heart. But get somebody to help you and to look over the stuff. Get a second opinion. Oh, by the way, don't get one from the same guy or gal. <laughs> yeah, that don't make any sense. You know, get a second opinion and see what you know what's up. But, but yeah. you got to take control. And you got you've said this a hundred times, folks. You got to take action. Yeah, you gotta you've got you've to do something. This is the time to take action. As we keep saying, we've talked about it over the last few weeks, this is the perfect storm for retirees. I'm not trying to scare anybody out there, but we've got incredibly high inflation. The stock markets are down 20% and taxes are likely to go up. What does that mean if you're on a fixed income? That means you need somebody helping you out. And even if you are pretty accustomed to doing the investments, are you sure that they're going to last for your spouse who might be sitting next to you. Call the phone number you see right here. Uh, I'll give it to you again before we go out to break. Before we go to a break though, I wanted to ask you about these. You've got seven key points to ensure a happy retirement. I'll start out with number one for you. You said value your time. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, here's the thing. When you retire, <clears throat> all of a sudden, you, you've got what on your hands? Time, lots of, of it, time. seven matter, days a week or Saturdays matter now. Matter of fact, you know, this, uh, just a second, but that's a, it's a paradigm shift, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, believe it or not, that was their whole life. They spent more time at work than they did at home, okay? And you know what? Sometimes it psychologically messes with their head. So I'm just saying to you, value your time. Right, okay? right. But you make sure you, you're doing things for you, you know, that you visit your grandkids, do 
whatever you got to do, but don't just sit around because you can sit around and go, oh my, and get depressed. And, and I think the way I'm interpreting it is make value yeah, of your time. Value. You know, because I get what you're saying that we work somewhere, we, we've got a purpose. And I'm not saying that your family isn't a purpose. No, well, yeah, I'm not saying that, that taking care of your, your beach house, your home isn't a purpose. But having that that feeling of accomplishing a goal or even working towards one, even if even if it doesn't always go perfectly, yes. you're either working with a team, you're working towards something. In retirement, yeah. you're saying work towards something. Yeah. Whether it's Getting hobby, to know you, think, maybe yeah. it's a hobby, maybe it's spending more time, travel, you know, whatever. But you know, mm -hmm. value your time. That's a right. good one. Uh, number two on your your seven key points to ensure a happy retirement. You say uh, think ahead. Yeah, think ahead. Now, maybe. which things are we are we talking well, here about lifestyle or money? Well, both, both. You know, go ahead and think ahead about you know. Be, and the you know, nice thing to do is think ahead before you retire. Maybe take a you know a couple years before you retire and say make a list. And then say, where do I really want to live? What, what do I really want to do? Let's get the wife and you together. Get some commonality, right? I've heard this. I've done this in front of. And the wife says, uh, well, oh, I just want to go travel and see the kids. And he goes, I just want, I'm going to golf more. I mean, I need to golf at least four days a week. And so now all of a sudden, we got we got some, they got to come together yeah. on something, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Right, right. Number three, uh, Expect less. That, that that might be hard for folks to hear. What do you mean by expect less? Well, again, you're in retirement now. You're you're not you're not putting money in. You're taking money out. You're now. Well, so maybe expect thing. less in returns, but we're but, still no, looking still for looking, something. Yeah, you're still looking, and you know that's. I mean, when I say expect less, I don't mean you know budget wise. Bu yeah, budget wise. Lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a good one. Number four, folks, is pick your neighbors. Pick your I, I know exactly what you mean there. I've, I've got a loud one down the street. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be there a long, a long time. time. So, yeah. so yeah. your neighbors are important. Well, and a lot of folks are going into these 55 and over communities where they have the oh, clubhouse yeah. and all mm -hmm. the things. And that's a, not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. you know, you, 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 but, again, hope you get because they're, they're on zero lot lines. So you better make sure you, you, you like neighbors on both sides don't don't tick them off right uh, this <laughs> though I do think could be one of the most important ones on here and you say buy yourself it is. income yes but too incongruous where you buy an income I'm figuring I'm spending money but income comes to me what do you mean by buy yourself income what what I'm saying there is make sure that you have a source of income right and see a fixed index annuity that we've talked about is nothing more than you taking control and having your own pension plan it's a pension plan for you. And okay. if you do it right and do guaranteed lifetime income annuities, and we talked about laddering them where you get a 7 or 8% step up every year when you turn it on. So you, you ladder these things, okay? But what that does is, it, it again, you're now buying yourself your own pension plan, okay? And it's guaranteed to come in. Okay. You're and and, your and this is part of the process of, of what you look at. Um, six and seven, work at retirement? What do you mean by work at retirement? Well, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, get yourself a hobby. You know, don't, don't, you know, don't just sit around and mope around. Because, again, you're going to have it's a It's not a, a glass of lemonade in the rocking chair right. on the front yeah. porch. Yeah, or golfing. You're going to get tired of golfing five, six days a week, I promise you. <laughs> okay? I mean, unless you're, you know, a scratch golfer. But, but yeah, so, you know, work at it. You know, it may, it, you know, it, and lastly, I, I really enjoy this. You say invest in relationships. Relationships. Man, that, that's key. You know, um, nobody on their dying bed said, you know, gosh, I wish I had one more dollar. I wish I worked another eight hours. You know, come yeah. on. You know, let's put things in perspective. I mean, you know, yeah. see the kids. You know, if you got kids, your grandkids, whatever. Even good friends, you know. Find a good friend. and You sound like you're just as much a, a financial psychologist well, as you are you know, a financial you actually, planner. You know, actually, I say that sometimes. You become a consultant, sometimes a priest. I mean, it's, <laughs> you, get, you get it all. You know, I get a lot of widows that come in, and they're, they're, they're sad. Yeah. They're upset. They've lost their husband. I've lost my wife of 45 years. I understand. Mm -hmm. It's serious. There's some psychological things that could happen here. Then you want to, you know, sometimes, you know, you almost cry with them. It's yeah. the truth. I mean, you really, you know, you, yeah. help, you help them through it. Well, and I know that we like to make sure that we get that floor of income right. as steady, as reliable as we possibly can. Right. So I know that you're willing to do a second opinion for folks. We're going to take a very short break right now. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the kinds of things that you might hear from your current 
financial advisor or a broker or somebody who is going to say what somebody else is going to tell you negatively about working with something like an annuity when we get back after this. But if you would like your own complimentary review and a safe money scorecard that will actually help you evaluate different types of annuities to see what might work for you and your family, give Len and the team a call right here. 844-299-0355. More Len Strickler and let's talk safe money right after this. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place and then help determine if you're well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision, so why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no-cost, no-obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you're getting the most out of your retirement income plan. Welcome back to Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. And, you know, we do talk a bit about annuities. We also talked last segment about how you help people with their managed money, meaning right, their absolutely. assets that they've saved, saved inside those right. retirement accounts at work. But you're willing to do a, a second opinion. Now, look, when we get a, a serious physical diagnosis. As Americans, we have no problem saying, thank you, doctor. I That's appreciate right. that. But the first thing I need to do is go get a second opinion. I, I'm going to go talk to somebody yeah, else sure. about it. Yeah. Nobody in the industry of physicians has a problem with that. Right. Inside the financial services, you have no problem mm. doing a second opinion. What is the problem? What is the kind of kickback that you think other advisors or maybe those brokers and those dealers and, and salespeople will say when getting a second opinion on something like an annuity? Well, you got to remember, it, we're messing with their rice bowl, okay? Um, they do not want you out of the market because why? They get paid whether you're making money or losing money. So they don't want you, you're messing with their rice bowl. As a matter of fact, what we're doing, folks, is we're helping them fund their retirement, okay? Yeah. But what they're going to tell you, here's what they're going to say, because, again, it, they're, they're, they're fighting. These are fighting words, man. You better get away from my rice bowl, okay? And one of the things they're going to say is, oh, it, it's called foot. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I call it FUD. They love to put the FUD in there. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, I understand that you, uh, I'm going to get a second opinion, but look, I, these annuities, they just, they, you don't want to go there. They got high fees, okay? Okay, now, now is that true? Now, that's a joke, because what we do with a fixed index annuity with Art and I, it's a no-fee product. Now, there are other kinds of annuities that do well, have you could, you could have fees. a fee. What, well, I mean, I mean the, we're going to tell you, yeah. you know, we're going to tell you if you want a life uh, LTC, long-term care. If right. you want a long-term care, there's a rider, okay? You can put a rider on it. There's different riders that you can put on. We'll share that with you and show you what it does in the illustration, okay? But the, the basic chassis, the basic product is a no-fee product, okay. period. What about the, these things are no longer, they're not liquid. They're you not can't liquid. Manage your That's money. a big one. That's a big one. The thing is you can take 10% of your money out, okay? 10% folks of your money out with no penalty at all, okay? Every single year, every year. So, I mean, think about it. If you've got $300,000, $400,000 that you've saved into mm -hmm. a, and you want to, you know, shift it into a new, I mean, you, you can take $30,000, $40,000, right? Okay. A year. Now, I was say, what, what, emer what kind of emergency? Yeah, I mean, we you, talk always about say, getting, you always say something you about always it. If you've got a $40,000 emergency, you, you've got a lot more problems than then, having illiquidity in an right. annuity. I mean, right. there's, I just can't think of, you know, 40. Plus, you always talk about, see, that's the thing, folks, is having the complete financial plan. If you have an emergency, this is part of you setting up an emergency That's right. fund. Absolutely. So we have these things. Yep. We're not putting everything into one set. In fact, we'll talk about it right. as different buckets. You've got your long term right. and that consistent floor money. You've got your emergency money. We've got longer money down the road that we might want to be getting two or three or four percent return on that's going to be used 20 years down the road, that might be investment money, that it's different buckets in different places, right? That's right? Correct. Well, we got a lot of folks right now coming in, believe it or not. Um, there's also a fixed annuity, Spike, okay? Not an index or anything. It's fixed, just like a CD. 
The nice thing about this, though, is you don't get the 1099 love letter from the government every year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't. It's it, so so it's tax deferred. Yeah. Okay. And we got some good rates right now. So we got folks putting money in there because it's safe. You know, getting 4.2, 4.8%. You can do a three year, four year, just like a CD. So that's another, you know, place that folks can put their money. But, you know, again, your the financial advisors, they're, they're going to they're going to move you away from this. They and other people that. might say that they're complicated, that annuities yeah. are complicated. And they're not. They're very simple. They're, matter of fact, when you stop and think about the market, all right, and what's going on in this market, that's complicated. Yeah. OK, yeah. That, that, and, you know, what part of it do you be stocks, in? Stocks, bonds, bio margin, options, blah, 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 blah. Right. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, it's all the talking heads with this stuff. That's complicated. So uh, rather than tr trying to solve on their own or maybe doing Internet research, which, which we've joked about before, who is the kind of person that would use the solutions that you like to provide for folks? This is somebody who's uh, just about to get into retirement, somebody who's in retirement, or somebody yeah. who might like a review? Yeah, yeah, I mean, our, you know, our, uh, I guess we'd say demographic model is probably okay. folks that are 50 to probably 70, 75, okay? That, that's really where, where we are. If you're 50 years old, you know, we can now st do some strategies to get you in a tax-free bucket, okay? And that's a nice bucket to be in, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh, I love <laughs> gonna, that right we're now. We're going to talk about taxes in, in a minute. But, yeah. But that's one of the buckets we want to get into. So. Well, that's about all the time we've got for. So I just want to bring up that phrase, the Roth conversion. We'll talk about it right. on next week's program and spend some time on that. But, yeah, we've got a lot of accounts that have been tax-deferred, tax-protected, tax-infected, as yeah, a friend of mine likes exactly. to say. Tax-infected, I yeah, like that. Yeah, for the last 30 or 40 years. And, and we've got to start taking a look at solutions. So, Len. Let me be clear for the viewers. You will take a look at people's investments. Right, absolutely. Their taxes, health care strategy, uh, Medicare, Social Security, and, and all of these pieces put together right. in a complimentary review, correct? correct? That's right. We call it our you know retirement readiness review. And uh, you know we'll go ahead and put, there's a number of components in there. The scorecard, income analyzer is another piece in there we call it. It's in our, and, yeah. then one and more. also, yeah, my, I've collaborated with Tom Higna. Uh, this one here, your complimentary book, Paychecks and Playchecks. So, folks, all of this combined together, we want to make sure that you get your own complimentary review. When you call into the phone number, you also get a complimentary copy of Len's book that he's contributed here to Paychecks and Playchecks. Give us a call at the phone number right now, 844-299-0355. Thank you so much for watching. Let's talk safe money. We'll be back again with Len Strickler next week.